Good evening. Uh, it's late. It is 8.30 p.m. And I've only just finished my daily tasks, which were extra today. You might see a fridge behind my head. It's the one that was in my kitchen. I cleaned it yesterday and uh, ready to, get, to be disposed of. <laughs> Even that, I... I um, want to make sure it's clean because somebody, uh, hopefully a friend's friend, will take it in a car. Um, the bottom half works perfectly well. The um, freezing part works. But the normal cool part um, ruins my salad and vegetables and things. It's something, it freezes over, the ice gets there. It's one of those that defrosts itself but it it's not working well and then a kind neighbour moved that from the kitchen to there and then brought the replacement one in and I've had to clean that that also belonged in here and um, not in my flat in another flat and the tenant has moved and left it and uh, there were three actually and somebody else had the other two and I've, I've just been so busy exhausting myself <laughs> I can't do any more and I'm so grateful that I've got to pray I've been listening to masses and uh, Bishop Fulton Sheen I've heard lots of his videos I just love listening to him and then um, tried to get hold of one of my daughters who'd sent me emails not one of my adopted daughters but did she answer the phone? The three-year-old was playing with it. So I need to calm myself down and pray. So I'm going to do the prayers first and then the mass readings. Um, I'm helping that, that daughter, but sometimes they don't listen. <laughs> like all children, they don't listen. And then there'll be a rush getting this problem sorted out. We've only got till the 15th to sort it out. And we're now on the 10th, so more work for me to help with. So I'm going to enjoy praying this evening to calm myself down and be in the presence of the Lord because that's what I feel I need. I've had such a busy, busy day and I'm not used to being busy. I'm used to being quiet and... You know, it, yes, so I need to pray. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Angel of God, my guardian dear, to whom God's love commits me here, ever this night be at my side, to light and guard, to rule and guide, Amen. Lord Jesus Christ, Son of God, have mercy on me, a sinner an act of contrition. O oh my God, I am sorry for all my sins, because they offend you, who are so good, and with your help I will not sin again. A prayer to the Holy Spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle in them the fire of your love. Send forth your Spirit, and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. I'm going to be sharing with you first healing prayers for every day for the 10th of August 2022. It's a Wednesday and the reading is taken from still in Psalm 119, Psalm 119 verse 81. My soul pines for your salvation without ceasing. I place my hope in your word. The reflection. Salvation begins here by the action of the Holy Spirit. Some authors say that salvation includes the action of healing. Much of Jesus' ministry involved healing and he continues day in and day out to heal us and set us free. The prayer, Lord Jesus, I believe. 
that you put the desire for wholeness in each human heart and you want to satisfy that longing. Let your healing touch fall on me at this time and on anyone who's stressed and not able to cope with life, what it throws up at us from time to time and all those who feel lonely and disenfranchised and unable to cope. It must be terrible. And we pray for all those who are mourning and those who are depressed. And uh, I'm going to share something that has to be read by me every day. I may as well do it on this for Wednesdays. In the name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and God, we ask thee to render all spirits impotent, paralyzed and ineffective in attempting to take revenge against any one of the members of the Auxilium Christianorum, our families, friends, communities, those who pray for us and their family members or anyone associated with us and for whom the priests of the Auxilium Christianorum pray, we ask thee to bind all evil spirits, all powers in the air, the water, the ground, the fire, underground, or wherever they exercise their powers, any satanic forces in nature, and any and all emirates of the satanic headquarters. We ask thee to bind by the precious blood all of the attributes, aspects and characteristics into actions and communications and deceitful games of the evil spirits. We ask thee to break any and all the bonds, ties and attachments in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Michael Archangel, defend me in this day of battle. Be my safeguard against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, I humbly pray, and do thou, Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, thrust down to hell Satan and all the wicked evil spirits who wander through the world for the ruin of souls. Amen. Yes, this morning I was a bit put out when I happened to be going uh, just to visit my friend briefly along the corridor which is near the binge thing and there was the little doggy and then I heard the owners calling out the Lord's name in vain literally the, the two words that are his name that everyone knows and I said to, I was saying to the little doggy oh your mum is naughty taking the Lord's God and God's name in vain and then she popped her head out and she was in a tiz because some carer of a lady near us had just been in and dumped in some very nasty um, rubbish is one way to put it and uh, the lid hadn't shut down on the bin and this lady's very fastidious and very nice but fussy and yes it, it, it I mean it's not right because the the carers are fit enough to go to the end of the bin cupboard and go to the bins at the further end. But this one, she hadn't. She'd put it in there and the lid wouldn't shut. And of course, that's horrible. So this lady of, with the dog went and got her. She sorted it out herself. I didn't watch. I went about my business. But later on, she'd moved that bin and put a cardboard notice on it saying this bin was full and lo and behold when the carer came in she'd been shopping for that lady near me and uh, I confronted her I said to her oh so and so so and so and she shouted at me taking the Lord's name in vain that's two people in one morning within half an hour of, of one another taking the Lord's name in vain. It is not a swear word. It is a holy word to be. Ah, 
you know, that set me off today and it's affected me all day long that people so just want to want to curse and they use the name of Jesus Christ. It upsets me and it, it it's just awful. It's just awful. Why, why are they calling on his name when they're not interested in him? Why, 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 why? I want to know why they call on his name when they're in a... And, and, and as the carer shouted at me, caring hands from Heacham, Hunt Stanton, Mark, they've got un, un, uh, people that shout at old ladies like me. Oh, you're always complaining. when she took the Lord's name at the same time. But I'm not always complaining. It's the lady with the dog who's always complaining. That's the very first time I've complained. But as I knew that she admitted that she'd put that in there, but she's got the strength to walk up to the far end of that bin room, whereas some people with walkers have to use the first bin. But she used the first bin and f it was only emptied yesterday. With her rubbish, it was overflowing. And, and th what made me mad, it's made me mad all day that people just take the Lord's name in vain. It's really a disgrace. And we're all, well, the carer's young, but the we're all older. We're all over 55 in here. And taking the names, to me it's unacceptable. But none of them believe. None of them believe in God. So what do you do? I don't know. I'd like some advice. I haven't lectured anyone. I'm just taken aback. I don't like it. I don't like it. Can you imagine the the argument if I if I'd actually said what I should say? I mean, the Lord doesn't. I I'm not quite sure what the Lord expects us to do when that when people take His name in vain. I have to consult and find out. I'd like some opinions. What do you do when you know that they they're using His name? as a curse word when they're in a situation or if as she rebuked me back she used Jesus's name what what kind of society is that that we're living in I find it very stressful I wished on I lived on an island on my own miles away from everybody <laughs> I just wish I didn't live in a building like this where you confront people and uh, they insult your saviour. Now, anyway, I've had my little rant. Thank you so much for listening. May God bless you. Please pray for me that I find the right words to say people when they take the Lord's name in vain because I don't like it and I'm not used to it and I hate being rude to people. But I, I, I did rebuke the lady for, for fill, overfilling the bin with some horrible, horrible rubbish. Yeah. Anyway, thank you so much for your comments and sharing and I wish you healing in the name of Jesus and always be happy and joyful in the Lord and try and be happier than me. 